Dear learner, welcome to the video tutorial on multilingual content development professional and as an would be library professional that India is a multilingual country. We have many languages, many scripts. So until and unless our library systems are compatible with the multilingual information retrieval, so we cannot reach out to the uh, disadvantaged section of the society. You see here less than 5% people in India can read, write and speak in English. By 2020, Hindi and Bengali will be the within the top 5 mostly spoken language of the world. Ever growing resources in Indian languages on the web. Library system need to be compatible with multilingual uh, information retrieval technology. And need of such system uh, is much higher in case of the you know, rural based public libraries in case of uh, rural based college and school libraries. Now, uh, how actually text is uh, managed by the computer system? Inside the computer system, we have different kind of text encoding standards like ASCII is actually remain the de facto standard from uh, 1960s onwards. So, ASCII is basically a one byte code. It can represent at the best 256 number of characters because you know for n number of bits the formula is uh, 2 to the power n. So if it can uh, represent if 8 bit uh, you know um, a text encoding standard. So 2 to the power 8 number of characters that is equivalent to 256 number of characters can be represented only in ASCII. And 256 number of characters it, there is no point in guessing that 256 number of characters cannot cover all the languages and scripts. All the, you know, uh, of the world. Now, if we come back to the index script, because inside the computer we do not handle languages actually, we handle scripts. Say, for example, when we are managing the language Hindi, we are actually managing the script, and Devnagri as a script can represent many languages apart from Hindi. Say, for example, Maratha, Konkani, then Bhojpuri, Moithili, Nepali all can be represented, uh, Marathi, all can be represented by the Devnagri script. So one script can represent more than one language in India, but uh, let's, uh, took a, let's take a look back in the history of Indian script. In fact, in this subcontinent, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, in this subcontinent, the mother script of all the languages is Bambi. It originated in 3rd uh, BC, before Christ. So, Brahmi is actually acted as a base script for all kind of index script including Sinhali and Urdu. So, in around 3rd century AD, it took a uh, short term, the whole index script into divided uh, during that time into Northern script and uh, Dravidian script. So, Northern script include uh, Gurumukhi, then uh, Gujarati, Bengali, Odia, these are all Indo-European languages, all originated from the Northern script. And the southern script or the Dravidian script are actually consist of uh, Kannada, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, etc. This is actually reported in the book World History of Writing System. So, this is a, a you know, brief history of how Indian scripts, Indic scripts actually developed in different uh, group of scripts from the original set from this. Now, India, uh, you know, is a multilingual country with huge number of languages. But uh, actually, you see, today uh, we have around 461 number of languages. Of this, 437 are living and 14 are extinct. Of the living languages, 447, 63 are actually uh, you know, institutional. 130 number of languages are developing. 187 number really you know, uh, vigorous. And 54 number of languages are in travel. And as I said, that uh, already 14 languages are extinct. So it's a hugely, you know, uh, diversified as far as languages is concerned. But uh, there is a unity in diversity in Indi Indic scripts. So almost all Indian uh, you know, scripts include around 50 number of alphabets. All number of vowels are the same. And in most of the languages, the you know um, sign. To end a particular sentence, what we use, uh, what we call it, pun biram in Hindi, pun in Bangla, Bangla. So that particular sign is, uh, you know, almost same for all Indian uh, scripts. 
so there are a lot of varieties but these are the some of the similarities that number of alpha alphabets are almost equal in most of the index scripts number of vowels are same and uh, uh, ending sign for a sentence is almost same uh, everywhere now uh, the uh, multilingual computing effort started in india with the with the, with the initiative of department of electronics right way back in 1983 so department of electronics da then department of electronics developed the indian standard in place of ascii ascii you know it's a one byte uh, code so it can be a seven bit ascii so it can represent maximum of 127 128 number of characters or it can be a eight bit ascii so on the on the in the same line iski was developed by department of electronics it is it was also a one byte code but it it's a 8 bit ascii 8 bit ex extended ascii where first 120 character is reserved for english language or roman script and rest 120 number of characters of 256 number of characters are given to any one index script so iski developed by department of electronics in 1883 and uh, modified again in uh, eight, 1988 then iski 1988 adapted by bureau of indian standard as the uh, indian national standard and that took place in 1991 since then uh, iski is uh, actually regarded as a standard for index script now iski as i told you that it's an 8 bit extended iski fast 120 num 8 number of characters actually reserved for Uh, in um, English, and uh, rest 128 number of characters is, is given to any one index bit. So by using uh, ISCII, at one point of time or at any given point of time, a, a, a computer operator can manage only two script. One is English, another is any one Indian script. So at the outset, you can say that ISCII is basically a bilingual standard. at any given point of time or at one time it can support english plus any one indian script so apart uh, you know uh, after uh, you know development of iski as a indian national standard for indian script different kind of data entry solution came from mainly sida these are called gist based, uh, based solution gist card based solution isfoc came itrans came uh, itrans is basically a auto transliteration program which can uh, transfer Uh, you know, it's a kind of machine translation uh, which, which can which can translate one particular word given in Hindi into Bengali, into Tamil, into Telugu uh, through mechanical uh, you know uh, processing. So that I trans also technology was utilized by many of the institutions during the early days of multilingual computer. But uh, during the decade of ninety. a uh, new standard came for uh, text uh, processing that is called uh, it's a kind of text encoding standard it's called unicode so all the software giant and hardware giant of the world tied their hand together to develop unicode as a multilingual standard for computing so uh, uh, what is the uh, you know difference between the unicode ascii and iski will be coming uh, later on but initially you just understand that unicode is a two byte code in compare with ascii and iski ASCII and ISCII both were one byte code uh, that is eight bit maximum, so they can represent maximum two to the power nine eight number of characters that is two fifty six. But in compare with that, Unicode is a two byte code. It can represent sixteen uh, bits, so maximum number of character can be represented two to the power sixteen, so sixty five thousand five hundred sixty three, and it has estimated that uh, uh, if we can represent fifty thousand unique character. so all the uh, scripts in the world can be covered including some of the obsolete scripts like brahmi and khorishi now unicode can be represented in three format one is the utf8 which is very you know popular in case of web transformation of uh, multilingual content then unicode uh, in utf16 all will be encoded with uh, 16 bit and uh, latest one is UT utf32 their whole character will be You know, represented through 32-bit uh, uh, you know system. Now, inside the computer, how you know uh, these uh, characters are represented? Suppose you have uh, typed uh, the capital L, letter capital A from the keyboard. So, computer actually uh, that that is called an ASCII character. Now, computer takes that ASCII character, 
goes to the corresponding value so sp value the sp value of the uh, capital a is 65 so then it converted into its binary p value that is 1 uh, 0 0 0 0 0 1 and that 1 0 0 0 0 1 is represented in computer in the form of a you know electronic signal 1 means presence of the signal and 0 means absence of the signal so this way actually uh, you know uh, characters are processed now in unicode uh, as the most popular format is utf8 in utf8 suppose there is a multilingual content with english plus any one indian language so that index script will be converted into 16 bit but the english language or the roman script will remain in 8 bit so in this way you know um, economy in data transformation may be achieved that's why utf8 is a very popular unicode format in present day web architecture now if you look into the scheme this shows that uh, the unicode uh, code space uh, for index script uh, different uh, code space for uh, index script in unicode it starts with nagari then comes bengali then gurumukhi then gujarati odia each of this group of language is given 120 number 8 number of characters say for example here you see bengali starts from unicode uh, values uh, this and ended with this if you add 127 with this number so it will be matching with uh, this number that means altogether 128 number of characters given to each indian script in unicode and this uh, you know mechanism uh, can help us uh, to go for you know auto transliteration process now here you see i have placed side by side the code space for devnagari code space for bengali and code space for tamil now here you see if you convert add 128 with the uh, devnagari or it, it will readily transform into bengali or and then if you add another two blocks that is 256 with this one so it will convert into tamil or so this kind of mechanical transliteration is possible because of the unique placement of the uh, index code uh, space in unicode now you have to remember that unicode is a standard for the character not for the glyph now can you see in the screen here you see i have given a uh, you know hindi word putti now here you see it appears that there are only uh, three characters but you see actually it from uh, contents six different number of characters so each character is represented by unicode but the gizmo mark that uh, you know shorthand side for the vowel these are not represented by you know unicode so unicode represents only character it is the responsibility of the rendering engine in the computer system to produce the glyph that is the glyph can be prepared by consonant consonant combination by consonant vowel combination by uh, different other you know kind of co uh, combination so these glyphs are actually represented by the rendering engine now here you see some of the uh, rendering examples i have given there so if we add a consonant with a vowel you see the change of the glyph so sometimes this uh, shorthand sign or gizmo sign can come in the left side can go in the right side can go up of the character can go down of the character can surround the character so uh, you know combination of consonant plus consonant combination of consonant plus vowel in india index script actually uh, gives many kind of uh, produce many kind of glyphs and the uh, production of the glyph is not the responsibility of the unicode it is the responsibility of the rendering engine available inside the operating system what you are using for example in case of linux operating system we are using pango as a rendering, rendering engine in case of windows uh, you know operating system right from xp to the latest one uh, we are using usp 10.dll as a rendering engine how you can convert your library you know system be it a library automation system be it a digital library system be it a library block how you can achieve you know multilingual uh, information retrieval uh, you know characteristics in uh, in your library system first and foremost it uh, your system must be unicode compliant now what does it mean it means that your operating system the operating system which you are using for uh, development of your library system must be unicode compliant nowadays most of the operating system 
be it windows be it uh, solaris be it linux be it mac all are mac all are unicode compliant so don't worry about that so apart from operating system you need to, your text editor must be unicode compliant because in most of the cases when you are preparing different kind of notices different kind of you know text message different kind of scripts you have to add uh, multilingual content inside the script so uh, scripts are basically uh, scripts or programs are basically developed by using a text editor so your text editor must also be unicode compliant now uh, your programming environment what programming language environment you are using like Perl, php java uh, the visual basic c c++ that particular programming environment must support unicode based data processing and last but not the least your backend database management system must support ets 8 as native character set say for example the open source uh, relational database management system we are generally using for our library uh, as our library backend database management like uh, mysql postgresql mssql all uh, are unicode compliant but you must check whether they are supporting native character set in the ets 8 format or not now this is the general requirement for a computer system now suppose your language requirement uh, may be different suppose you need hindi language based rectival i need bengali language based rectival someone needs digital language based rectival someone needs Kannada language based rectival so depending on the language requirement or sometimes more than one language requirement may be there so depending on the language requirement whether it's a one or uh, whether it's a uh, two or more you have to install different virtual keyboard different rendering engine and different open type fonts to cover those language and those scripts for example in case of linux operating system the pango re re rendering engine can cover almost all index scripts so you do not have to install different rendering engine for different index scripts but definitely different virtual keyboard you need to adopt for covering different indian language or different indian scripts and you need to install in the system uh, both in the client and the server the open type fonts related to that particular language nowadays most of the open type fonts or ots formats are available you can download one uh, good initiative taken by the government of india by establishing an agency under ministry of information technology that is called tdi technology development for indian language they developed uh, many you know virtual keyboard rendering in you know, open type for, for almost all constitutionally recognized indian languages now um, uh, if you take into consideration the uh, open source uh, you know man library management software we are using uh, for our day-to-day -day library activities like gemstone koha if print archive dspace all are unicode compliant nowadays but not all versions say for example dispatch is unicode compliant right from the version 1.8 prior to that you have to configure different you know uh, scripts uh, different kind of you know uh, uh, java program to achieve uh, you know uh, unicode compatibility same is the case with the koha koha right from version 3.x uh, you know, almost all including the present versions all are unicode compliant but that was the not the, that was not the case in case of 2.x series of koha release way back in you know uh, 2007-2008 so <coughs> you have to check the um, unicode support uh, of a given uh, software not only by the name of the software but also by the versions of the software almost all latest versions are nowadays you know um, supporting unicode so there also you need uh, to ensure that your operating system text editor programming environment required for that uh, you know um, the library management software uh, whether those are unicode compliant or not then apart from uh, checking all these basic things you need to see whether the target language script open type font or you know glyphs like rendering those are supported by the uh, system or not and as I told earlier that rendering nowadays can cover almost all you know so here I have given a list uh, uh, to handle Bengali language requirement uh, inside Koha, Gimstone and Dispatch. 
so any of the linux or windows uh, system you can utilize notepad uh, or any edit can be utilized as a text editor uh, those are all unicode compiled php Perl, java all are unicode compiled then at the language level we are using uh, you know a unicode compiled virtual keyboard called opto usp 10.dll in tango we are using as a rendering engine and different token type for uh, we are using uh, some of these are Likho, MCVG, etc. In fact, Bangladesh developed a uh, you know, lot of uh, you know open type font uh, for Bengali language as Bengali is the national language of Bangladesh. So sometimes we download from uh, you know Bangladesh server also a uh, different open type font uh, available. Now, if we you know go through that uh, different kind of global information retrieval system like Google, Yahoo, etc. So you see almost all of these global, you know, global systems are Unicode compatible. Here I have searched something in Bengali script. So Google return back uh, all resources in Bengali script. So Google, Yahoo, AltaVista, Hotport, all of these uh, major search engines are now Unicode compliant. If you provide, uh, if you are giving query in your own native language by using any Unicode compliant virtual keyboard, then those systems can return back you the resources in the same language. Now, as I uh, as I told you in my earlier you know, slide that uh, Indian language contents are growing uh, every day. Here you see, here I collected the you know statistics related to the Wikipedia content, and you see how many Hindi, Bengali, Tamil, Odia contents are nowadays available. In fact, Gujarati is growing six uh, hundred plus percentage per year. So. Uh, these resources are already available, but if you do not have uh, a retrieval system, do not have a Unicode compiled virtual keyboard, you can uh, retrieve those resources because all are all these are available in Unicode compatible format. Now, uh, this is the site what I was talking about that is uh, technology development for Indian languages. They have developed many you know uh, tools like uh, text, uh, text to speech. Then uh, auto transliteration, you uh, write something in Hindi, it will automatically translate it into the target language. Here, you know, in the script, uh, script, uh, screen, you can see I have uh, given uh, Komal in uh, Devnagri script, it returned back me the Komal in Bengali script. So, there are many other you know, services I have listed therein. You please visit the uh, TDIL website. So, all kind of um, virtual keyboard, open type font and different other language specific requirement can be fulfilled and those are all available as open source uh, software you can utilize without any uh, problem. Now, the three most popular uh, software in the uh, arena of library services are Dispress, Koha and Gilstrap. You see here, I can show you that how this can be converted uh, into Unicode compatible uh, interfaces. So this is we developed for one university in West, uh, West Bengal. So this is the Bengali language interface of uh, this space. This is a version 1.8. That that time it was not Unicode compatible, but all the present versions are Unicode compatible. You don't have to face uh, much trouble to translate all the messages of this space into your target language, any of the uh, uh, Indian language. So here you see, uh, you can browse, you can search, you can retrieve from uh, this space and this is the you know uh, retrieval uh, the display of uh, resources in Bengali script and this label also you, you can change uh, for example title you can change to zero now and so on now this is the latest uh, you know display interface which is based on mannequin so this is the XML UI based interface that also we can translated into Bengali script so you can search you can browse and here you see metadata and boolean operators are, can also be translated inside this space so this is the drop down list of different fields now we started uh, translation of Koha way back in uh, version uh, 2.4 and this this was the result but nowadays uh, Koha 3.x series includes uh, different Indian language uh, you know translation but uh, you have to install the, those translations separately it is not available in the default installation of Koha. Now you see here how you can change uh, the opac of Koha 
uh, two dot eight by converting all the scripts in in, in input compatible uh, format. Then we replace the English message uh, with the Bengali messages, and this is the result. We can search, we can display in uh, uh, Bengali script. So this is the retrieval of a particular document in Bengali script. And this is the librarian interface. All you know, uh, technical terminology you can translate by following any you know uh, standard list. Uh, so in uh, West Bengal, Bengal Library Association developed one Pori Bhasha course, which actually includes different uh, Bengali language equivalent of uh, technical term uh, terminologies available in the domain of uh, library services. So that we have utilized and developed this uh, librarian interface of course. Now, similarly, we developed a retrieval system by using uh, Greenstone Digital Library software, a portable digital library we have developed, which can give all the information related to doctors as a part of community information service. So, uh, Greenstone version 2.7 we have utilized, but the present versions of this uh, uh, Greenstone inputs are uh, uh, already uh, uh, included and readily available in Bengali language pack. So here you can see this is the interface of uh, Greenstone. So people can uh, search, they can check the uh, so, you know different kind of fields available in Bengali or Indian script. Now after giving some search query, it will retrieve reports. I can click to check the full text of the report. So all things will be highlighted as I have searched by this particular term. So in this way, we have checked uh, that nowadays, uh, because of the input uh, compatibility of all the library management software, retrieval and interface both are uh, supporting in the in the problem. So this is the metadata encoding inside the uh, browser that we also can do in the library. And this was the latest uh, development from our department. We developed the Bengali language translation of view file. You can see the translation. And you can see the um, main IM, the dn.ini file as available from the GitHub repository of view file. Uh, thank you very much. That's all I want to